07 Citizens, Hills Horror Helmet and the Bear Helmets. Hills Horror Helmets, pretty easy, go to Chump Town on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, just enter it and you'll get it. The Bear Helmets are slightly bit more of an effort. Um, personally, I don't like neither of them, but I'm a nerd, I like collectibles, so let's collect some stuff. Um, I figured out a couple of, tried to figure out a couple of things on how to loot them best because these bear helmets are in boxes, grey ones or red ones, randomly around the Stanton system. So then there were a couple of rumors on how to get them easiest. Um, delivery missions have a tendency to spawn the most loot boxes, which is an accurate experience for me as well since 3 um, 20 but I I encountered some weird issues around it so I tried to investigate well they weren't really weird but it just it didn't things didn't work out as expected or as I was used to I made a complete video about how to level up delivery missions and how to get there if you're really starting a simple one choose the small ones one or two delivery packages and Again, for starters, new players, delivery missions are a great way getting into the handling of the game. So I can really recommend it. But for our purposes here, it's about getting loot boxes. So we're flying into these places here. You need to pick up in Arcor Mining 056. This one packet, you land, you go down, you get in. And what you need to do, you need to search all the little buildings. There are different things buildings that have in a tendency more boxes than the others. Most of the boxes have the habitation buildings and the storage building. The mining controls or the biomes or, or research study um, buildings have definitely less of it. So the recommendation is really to look for all of them but usually habitation and storage is the best place to get your boxes out. Try to land nicely, ouch. And I usually land as close as possible to where I need to pick up the box because you can't use tractor beam in Armistice Zone, so you need to walk all the way there and back again. So the bear helmets spawn in the gray boxes and red boxes, so you need to look into all of them. And, well, you find nice multi-tools as well while, it, while you're doing it. So, <clears throat> and what I was looking into it, this one is really, it's a really packed place right now with a lot of things, but unfortunately we will not find any of the bear helmets. Um, but yeah, I really like the different colored multi-tools that are spawned so vastly in this, um, in this wipe of 320. And... Yeah, we're just looking through and these the, the, the locations you're seeing right now, these are the most common location where actually we have um, boxes. Here is a red one and there is nothing in it too that I want, currently want to know. They look kind, quite spooky, these um, Odyssey helmets, but I, 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 well, in the end I don't like spooky stuff anyway because I think it's, <laughs> it's not fun. Things. So this one on here on the um, this table can be easily overlooked and it's there regularly um, so keep those little locations in mind because it's always the same locations where the boxes do spawn no you can't stack the multi-tools if they're not stacked in the beginning um, here in this kitchen area sometimes this is spawn yeah no luck in this one and well, you need to walk through all the other buildings as well to make sure, again, storage, habitation. Oh, and of course, ah, I forgot that before, the spawn area for um, your ground vehicles is as well a good spot to get things. I usually check first for all the empty boxes to get the bears, and then I pick up the things. So, but let's go on. And of course, at some point you need to pick up the delivery actually made behind the desk sometimes are red boxes because if you don't actually do deliveries you get the reputation um, punch and well then you don't get these missions anymore and 
that can be in pain if you're not allowable anymore. So make sure to complete those missions as much as you can. Um, because you will see with the next one kind of mission we're actually doing, we do the, the high tier mission. Um, there is actually quite some money in it, in it. And again, you level up very fast in the delivery missions. And again, I made a whole tutorial about that. See it in the links below when you want to know more about that and why it's actually worth doing um, these missions. Okay, so land on your dedicated spot, get out, unload, bring the box where it's supposed to be, check all the boxes and go to the next place. Well, 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 so you did a couple of those missions, you leveled up, you got a high tier missions now, it's now soon the um, delivery pilot for Kovalex or the company you're running for will show up. This is a 45,000 AUAC mission and these missions are different. So you can see what uh, I, my um, reputation rating is with Kovalex. I'm a runner, it's the tier two. There is no higher tier, so it's really easy to get there. It's no far away. Again, details, see for the other mission. Why is it worse to build up reputation in the delivery missions? Again, especially for new pilots to get a hang and learn the basic flight maneuvers and master them really well before you start getting to more challenging stuff. Those places are usually secure places, so there are turrets. It might be possible that they shoot at you. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So it, it's really worthwhile bringing a vehicle with you. I usually do it with an Ursa because you need cargo space if you have good loot. So an STV will not do the job for this. And you know, I love the STV. You go down and it starts up. You have a lot of loot boxes. You always had a lot of loot boxes in these high tier delivery missions and you have opponents. You will need to be ready to fire. What you need to do in detail here, you need to, to find three boxes. They are not marked until you pick them up. And they're usually those who are, um, they are on these pallets um, with the straps around them. Okay, and you need to find and look at those pallets, not at those pallets, <laughs> on these pallets here, you need to find which ones are um, without any straps. And here, oh yeah, sorry by the way, there is no in-game sound for the whole thing. Because my dear OBS did something weird about that. I fixed it right now as I figured out because it's just a little thing, but yeah. So you don't hear the bullets fly, doesn't really matter for this video so you take down your opponents um, the hostiles that are sp have spawned in of course loot them get some get some ammo and stuff back for so you don't waste any money in that because yeah ammo is plenty around so you really don't need to do that maybe some med pens bad i already equipped a lot of them walk around and then yeah what we actually need to do you check all the boxes to find stuff in there and again, this was as well a quite an unlucky one. You find sometimes um, nice skins, uh, uh, guns with nice skins. Um, the SR-71 has a nice, uh, really, really, really incredibly brutally red skin. If you like that, not my thing. Um, but it's all about taste. I mean, uh, grab what you want to get. Grenade launchers and stuff you can get out of it. So the usual. Still, again, the question is, um, do it at this spot I just pointed there sometimes there are is a box there um, that was actually Magnus Lupus uh, very dear friend <gasps> there is a bear helmet so we got one yeah okay Magnus Lupus he is well a streamer well he's a streamer on break he's currently not streaming but he used to stream and he I we play a lot for a long time space games together and so he pointed that out that I actually and I, I, I definitely missed that spot a lot of times um, to, to check for boxes, but that's a relevant spot because boxes are there um, for you to loot. So we found one bear. Oh yeah, there is the SR, the red SR, SR-71 in case, in case you like that. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. All the others are strapped, but 
this one. So you F carry, pick it up and check whether it's one of your boxes or not. And it will at an instant tell you whether it is one. So, back. so bring it back to the elevator. That's how you do it. You need to bring back all three boxes. Sometimes it's hard to find because as I said, they're unmarked. You put it on the elevator. If you don't bring them back, you get the reputation punish and you don't want to do that because yeah, you want to have that reputation up because it goes down very, very quick. But I'm not going to bother you with finding all of them. It's about bare helmets. That's what this video is about. So a little jump ahead. So I delivered those three boxes from the delivery pilot high tier mission and we do another with just two pickups because I wasn't fully convinced that these missions really give you give us an advantage um, from um, getting stuff, getting the, the bear helmets out of the boxes. It, it's, it, it, it was in theory potentially possible. As we all know, we get a lot of boxes as we're doing it. But I'm, yeah, I just tried to confirm even more and look into it. So this is an, a simple one, a two mission. There is those two boxes around here. Again, we had one of the bear helmets in this high tier mission. And here it's again, it's just fruits and vegetables and shitloads of multi-tools. Um, we're gonna go for it. Of course, I still check all the boxes. Let's see what's happened next. So this is Loveridge Mineral um, with processing facility um, and that's where we're supposed to deliver this last box and for such a big zip it can be challenging to land here and be aware these antennas can be very deadly for ship shields and ship hulls it's quite interesting when you look how small they are um, yeah so we land here we get out we bring the box into the place The advantage of this place there is only one thing and I had when it comes to boxes a couple of good experiences here um, just when I go there randomly um, it is a very small place but it can has quite a good amount of boxes so let's have a look into it one room two rooms no three rooms so there is a red box at the center um, I actually missed that one when I walked in at the first place, but I will catch it here. Check through this. Sometimes there is stuff here as we found it here. Again, multi-tools. I, like the, I, li I really like the ghost and the quicksilver multi-tools. I think they're very nice. Um, yeah, use your torch. It helps. And now I actually spotted it here, the red one. Um, but as far as I remember, nothing in there. Yes, just this arms. Side of doing missions, there are other places to go. For example, Lyria, the orphanage. This used to be a place where we got a lot of boxes. There were usually, you get in there were, was at least three boxes, sometimes up to five boxes in the place. It's very small, it has no armistice zone, so it can be a challenge to land, especially with such a big ship as I brought here. So let's get inside and have a look. Usually, well, let's get in first. It's a small room. There are a couple of places where we usually have boxes none on this side it just looks at it just on the bottom right here is one on the table on this side uh, left to the um, commodity thingy there is boxes where this this little cask is here right now here can be boxes behind the desk can be boxes around this corner can be one and sometimes just where I'm actually standing right now it could be another one just up to five places where used to be boxes spawned um, I don't know whether this is general, but no boxes are spawning. So it seems to me, as a summary of this whole video, that the spawn rate of boxes has been reduced as well in the delivery missions. Um, I showed you one that had a lot of boxes. I played another um, delivery pilot mission, so a high tier delivery mission that had absolutely zero boxes. And it was not about, some people say, yeah, it takes sometimes time to spawn them in. Yes, that's correct. But I waited. 
and they were not spawning in so it is from what I'm seeing it's still random on how many boxes are spawning or even more random how many boxes are spawning because as I said delivery missions were a sure, a sure pull to spawn boxes and it is as well random where the bears the bear helmet will appear um, because it took me about the same amount of time to get my um, first bear helmet till I found this last one which you just saw before um, so I think it just takes time um, very good thing is try to play there where no other creepers play so there hasn't been looted just um, right before you so that's a bit hard to say who is playing it where when and with the current gameplay where a lot of things are happening with the maze and the rock holding and jump down there is a lot of going on around Crusader um, and Yella and Daymar of course and, and, and all these places so the chance that you get something more over on Microtech or down in Arcorp is big or let's say bigger I from my experience here I can say it doesn't make no change whether you use the delivery missions to find your bears or just try to go as cyclic to other players and try to find the um, boxes and tr and loot them so that's 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 what I'm seeing as a conclusion from the last for, yeah, for, from a, quite a good couple of hours of gameplay of trying it out and seeing where it goes with these missions as yeah I think the amount of spawns of the helmet is fixed it's not depending on the missions you're having again if you're out for loot and you need a new player and you do the delivery missions to learn the game and you pick up all the stuff from the delivery mission and you sell them it's a good way to make additional money because delivery missions are not very well paid until you have maximum tier yeah so this was my take on the looting and finding of the bear helmets again if you want to have the hill horror um, helmet you just need to go to jump down town monday wednesday and friday just simple enter the place and you'll gonna get it i think even with a badge so this is xwing x speaking i appreciate you watching this video if you like it if it was helpful please like and subscribe and let me in the comments if I forgot anything or you want to add something or if you want to have if you have a specific question or you would like a specific video about something have a beautiful day and good loots